So, under seat connectors on Rover 75. Uh, this car has um, uh, several others, I think, have this issue with connectors under seat, uh, throwing an airbag light on the dashboard and cold on uh, a resistant fault. Uh, and this car is no exception. I have had these connectors uh, separated a couple of times, cleaned them up, put them together, and uh, the cold goes away. And uh, But eventually, when I put my fat ass a little bit too firmly down in the seat or move it back and forward, th suddenly it throws up a cold again and the lights come on the dash. It seems like a non-ending saga, really. So... Uh, now I have uh, decided to upgrade these connectors because they are a little bit unstable. Uh, they cannot handle a lot of movement or vibration before they uh, <coughs> lose contact ever so slightly. Uh, and uh, you will have a airbag light on the dash. So what I'm going to do now is disconnect this uh, and that and that one and upgrade to this Vago uh, connectors because uh, they are clamping the wirings inside and making a 100% stable uh, connection which how no matter how <laughs> hard you sit down on your seat or move it back, back and forward you cannot lose connection so uh, let's do that so what we start to do is, we start with this one, we just twist the connector like that and you can pull it out of the seat bracket like that and I will have to film this in multiple stages because I only have a phone to record with so I cannot make a very good flow on the uh, taping of this so I have to make it uh, kind of step by step so I hope you understand that so bear with me. So now I have loosened the connector and where I will begin is this one at the end here uh, that meets up with a white and black wire there. That's very important to remember so you don't get this wrong because then you can get interesting happenings I think. <laughs> and <coughs> uh, do not forget when you are working on like connectors or any type of uh, in-car electronics disconnect the battery totally before you touch anything that's number one priority uh, or else you can risk to damage or yourself or your car and uh, that's not what you want so uh, and now i have loosened this so i can just pull that out and start uh, getting the wire out of the connector. So, stay tuned. So, what you see here is that uh, in the middle of the connector there is a white clamp uh, that I had to loosen uh, and get off. So, I will remove it uh, <coughs> completely and get back to you. So, the white little black, blank, uh, bracket or clamp rather is removed and as you can see here it is now gone and what you will need to do is, if you see in that little front opening there, uh, you can use a little tool like this, uh, this is clock tools, uh, nifty little set that I bought cheap. Uh, that is plenty good enough too because there is a catch in there just to hold the wire in place so you just put a little pressure there and then as you might see here uh, we can um, excuse me this is <laughs> very very bad filming i'm very sorry for that but i hope you can see uh, it is now come loose so i have to pull it out of the connector so yeah let's do that so there we are the wire is now loose so what i will do now is just cut over here and uh, remove some of the insulation uh, with 
one of those. I have to just uh, apologize because I don't know what it's called in English, but I'm sure <laughs> you understand. Um, uh, it's sort of an uh, insulation removal tool uh, so that we can have some bare wiring uh, to put inside of these. So yeah, let's continue. So, as you can now see, we have removed some insulation on uh, top of the wire. And uh, this is very, very thin, small wires. So, I had to use the uh, smallest section for wires to get the insulation off. Uh, so, that's that done. Now we can prepare for the opposite side. Uh, and as we remember, uh, it is the black and white wire uh, we are going for now. So uh, now we have to remove that locking cap right there. So now that locking cap is removed. And as we can see, we can use that little uh, clock tool to put a little pressure down there. And uh, the wire should clip loose. So, as you can see, that is now loose. So, now we can do the same thing on this one as the, that one. Uh, just uh, cut it over here and remove some insulation. So, now you can see the insulation is removed on top of this wire. So, now we will get one of those and open the clamps. And uh, I'll show you roughly how you install them. It's very, very simple. So here you have a uh, Vagal connect, uh, connector, uh, two to one, this is uh, numbered. And what we will do now is just open up that clamp and we stick our wires in there. And, oops, a little bit clumsy, that one and the other one in there. So let's do that. So now we have the wires securely connected and in place and I have tried to pull this a little bit absolutely no movement at all. So now let's continue to uh, the other two wires. So now the two last wires is uh, cut off and uninsulated uh, so uh, we can put a connector like that on this uh, and then later it's exactly the same process on that one I'm not going to film that because that will be just unnecessary it's just the same as we have done here just a repetition of that so uh, I'll show you when all of the, it is done and there we are we are now fully connected uh, so when we are all done with these, I will just fasten this, uh, these connectors to the seat bracket with some zip ties or something like that. So they just don't rattle around and catch in something. Uh, they should hold in place, but just so it looks a bit neater and tidier. So now we are fully connected. All the wires are securely in place. So, uh, what I need to do now is uh, reconnect the battery and see if my car goes up in the air and explodes or if we actually have cured something. So stay tuned and watch. So the battery is now connected and uh, <laughs> there is no smoke from the connector. So maybe we have done something right. So shall we see if I can dare to put the ignition on and start the car. <laughs> to see if uh, we've had success. So I have to apologize for my terribly clunky filming. Shall we see? Low fuel warning. Oh, 
I, I, I'm just so I'm <laughs> I haven't done this this before so I have to make sure everything is right before I put everything back together and airbag light doesn't seem to come on again so uh, I will um, bolt down the seat again and try to put my fat ass in the seat and move it a little bit back and forwards to see if we have success and yeah I almost forgot I had to cut off some of that outer insulation there to make space for this too because the insulation goes quite down a bit so it was a bit tight for space so I had to remove yeah, a small centimeter or so with insulation right there so we have now uh, secured the connectors in place with some cable ties so now we can bolt down the seats so i have now sat, sat my uh, fat ass <laughs> down in this uh, delicious leather seat so uh, now we will try to start the car up again and move the seat a little bit backwards and forwards and test if we have a confirmed success you have got to be kidding me what have I done wrong now Hmm. <laughs> Investigation is needed. That is clearly not going away. Um, hmm. Then we'll have to find the code reader then. So finally, it seems like we have cured the issue. Uh, I actually managed to strip down or fasten the connectors too tight. So when I got the seat down, uh, it, uh, it was too much pressure on the wire so actually when i started to move the seat backwards and forward it actually snapped the one of the tiny little wires right off so i had to loosen the uh, zip tie and uh, uh, take some insulation off that little wire and reconnect it again and fasten it a little bit more loosely so uh, the wires actually can have room to move so uh, now we seem uh, fine because now I, now I have um, driven a little bit backwards and forwards and <laughs> jumped up and down in the seat and uh, moved it backwards and forwards a little bit. Uh, so if my neighbors have wondered if I'm a little bit crazy before, they know for certain now that I have been jumping up and down in my seat uh, <laughs> for quite a while just to make sure that we have good connection. So yay we have success so uh, if you like this video if it was helpful uh, hit the like button and consider subscribe if you want to uh, see you again bye